Okay, in this clip I'm going to demonstrate how to set up the um, F800 VFD with an IPM motor. And I'm just going to be using the standard um, demo case arrangement. So we have the uh, VFD obviously here on the left and this is the uh, Cymax IPM motor made by Marathon. So uh, moving swiftly through, um, first thing we obviously do is switch everything on. So this driver's had the parameters cleared down so it's basically starting exactly as though it came out of the crate. Um, you can see here that it's uh, set up in external mode of course so the first thing we will do is select parameter unit mode and you can see we have that and then I'm going to select mode until I'm looking at the parameter display. Now actually setting up the motor is very similar to how you would do it if you were doing auto tuning on um, just a regular induction motor. So the first thing we do is move to parameter 71. Uh, you can see I'm just using the normal keypad here but I'm going to dial 71. Okay, and um, I'm going to set that. I'm going to enter the code for a general purpose IPM motor. This is not one of Mitsubishi's own IPM motors, which the driver already knows. But for this one, the code is 8093. So I'm just going to dial that through. That's one of several options we have here. Oop, there we are, 8093. And I'm going to set that value. Okay, so now we're just moving through. So the next uh, parameter we're going to set will be the motor's kilowatt rating. Now this is a half horsepower motor, so that's equivalent to um, 0.4 kilowatts, 0.4 kilowatts. So I'm just going to set um, 0.4, do some speedy dialing here. There we are, 0.4, which is actually the lowest setting on this one, so I can't overshoot it. I'm going to set it, and then parameter 81. Now in this particular case, if you look at the nameplate on the motor, you'll see it's a six pole motor. So I'm going to set it up with six poles. Eight, so six. Okay, and the uh, next thing we need to do is to set the rated motor um, voltage and frequency. And these are often unusual values with an IPM motor compared to what you'd see with an induction motor. So in this particular case, it's a 230 volt motor. Nothing special about that. It's starting 230. Set that. And in parameter 94, I'm going to put the operating frequency. It's actually based around 90 hertz, so I'm going to use 90 as my value here. So, set of 90. And I'll set that in. And that's basically all the settings that we need to make. Now we're going to run the auto tuning system. So parameter 96 is what controls this. Again, exactly the same way as if it was a, a normal sensitive vector control um, setting on, an, on, a, on a squirrel cage motor. So I'm just going to set this to 1 for a static auto tune. This is what we do with uh, IPM motors. Press set. And now I'm going to press forward to do the actual auto tune. So you'll hear the motor. Doing, uh, during the auto-tune process as the drive interrogates the motor. And you can see here's the, here's the motor being interrogated, so you can see the shaft does not actually rotate. Okay, so when it stops then you know that the uh, tune has been completed. Uh, and I press uh, at this point you must press stop before you try to run the motor or absolutely nothing will happen. Press stop. Uh, let's go into external mode and see if the motor actually runs. I'm just going to give it uh, external run command from the key from the um, the analog signals here, and we have pretty good running already. So let's go through mode again. Let's actually go into display mode. So you can see I'm actually running at 10 hertz. If I now interrogate the um, current, you can see it's only drawing 0.15 of an amp, but there is lots of torque on that motor, believe me. So that's one of the cool things, obviously, about an IPM motor, is that the motor current is extremely low, probably about half what it would be if you were running on a um, normal squirrel cage motor. Okay, so we'll just stop that.
if you want to uh, double check to make sure that the auto tune has completed all right, um, go back again to parameter 196 and check to see what value has been set in it. A code 3 here means that the auto tune has been complete. Remember, we originally set it to a 1. The drive itself changes that to a 3 when the tune has been done successfully. And that's all there is to it.